So we've looked at identifying antecedents and consequences. Let's talk about why doing that is important in each case. With regard to the antecedents, identifying antecedents can help us in two ways. One of which is increasing antecedents that lead to positive behavior. Are there situations or people or circumstances or things that when I increase those, positive behaviors are more likely to occur? For example, does this kid learn better inside or outside or with these toys versus those toys while we're sitting at the table or playing on the floor? If I can identify any of these antecedents that seem more likely to lead to positive behavior, I can increase those antecedents. That's one piece of four with regard to applying a functional assessment to a behavior plan. Can I increase antecedents that lead to positive behavior? In this example, this is a student who does well with high levels of reinforcement, not surprisingly as most kids do. This is an antecedent intervention. When he gets these levels of reinforcement prior to tasks, he often does better. So preceding sessions with that reinforcement increases the likelihood that he will do well. This is an antecedent intervention because it occurs before any inappropriate behaviors. It actually serves to prevent those inappropriate behaviors from occurring, or at least reduces the likelihood that they will occur. In this student's case, he loves to jump on the trampoline, and when he sits down, the first thing that happens is he'll be reinforced with some juice. Do you want your chew? Yes. Then he'll also be given access to an oral motor toy. All of these things occur before he's ever presented with a task. For this student, the swing is a reinforcer, and Haley actually does her tasks within the context of that swing. Now this also serves to reduce the antecedents for inappropriate behavior. For this student, sitting down, working at the table often leads to inappropriate behavior. And by doing some of his tasks within the context of this reinforcer, she's reducing the likelihood of inappropriate behavior. What do we do with glasses? What do we do with them? We wear glasses. Wear glasses, that's right. Here's another example of Haley presenting tasks to this student in situations other than formal teaching at the table. What's sister's name? Katie. Katie, that's right. What do you want to do? What do you want? Chase. Chase? Chase. Use all your words. I want Chase, peace. Okay. Ready, set, and go. Ready, set, 